ever wondered why the stock prices of AMC Entertainment Holdings, symbolized as AMC, have been so volatile recently. In the past few years, the financial world has seen some dramatic twists and turns, and AMC's stock price has been a roller coaster ride, to say the least. Between the peaks and troughs, one thing has consistently stood out price manipulation. It's a term that's been thrown around a lot, often associated with short selling, short squeezes, and other questionable practices. But what does it really mean? Simply put, it's when the stock market is influenced artificially, distorting the prices of stocks like AMC, causing them to fluctuate in ways that don't reflect the company's actual value. So who's pulling the strings behind this financial puppet show? And more importantly, what can be done to protect the interests of investors? Today, we'll delve deeper into who's behind this turbulence and how investors can safeguard their interests. Now, who's stirring the pot? Let's identify the main culprits. First on our list, hedge funds. These financial powerhouses have been known to bet against AMC's stock prices, hoping they would fall. But when the opposite happens, they find themselves in a bit of a pickle Short squeezes can lead to massive losses for hedge funds and to limit these losses they've been known to resort to various illegal methods to manipulate the stock price. Next in line we have market makers. Now, their primary role is to provide liquidity in the market. They match buyers with sellers and keep the wheels of commerce turning. But every so often, some market makers have been known to misuse their power. They've been accused of pushing down AMC's stock prices, a clear abuse of their market position. Then we have some rather shady practices that come into play. Naked short selling, for instance. This is when stocks are short sold, even though the sellers don't actually own the stocks. It's a blatant violation of regulations, but it still happens. Another tactic is wash trading. This is when stocks are bought and sold simultaneously to artificially influence the price. It's like a magic trick, creating an illusion of high trading volumes, but it's all smoke and mirrors. And it's also illegal. So there you have it. Hedge funds, market makers, naked short selling, and wash trading. All these players and practices can contribute to the manipulation of AMC's stock price. But it's not just about knowing who's involved. It's about understanding how they do it. These entities and practices play significant roles in manipulating the market, but how does it all work? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mechanics of price manipulation in our next segment. Price manipulation may seem complex, but it's just a game of smoke and mirrors. The main tools in this game are naked, short selling and wash trading. Let's break them down, shall we? First off, naked short selling. This is a practice where the seller doesn't actually own the stock they're selling. It's like selling a car you don't own and it's just as illegal. Yet some players manage to slip through the cracks. Here's how it works. They sell the stock driving the price down. Then they buy it back at a lower price, profiting from the difference. It's a dangerous game and when the tables turn it can lead to what's called a short squeeze causing the stock price to skyrocket and the short sellers to lose big. Next up we have wash trading. This is another illegal practice where a trader buys and sells the same stock almost simultaneously, creating a false sense of market activity. It's like selling a car to yourself to make it look like there's high demand for it. This can mislead other investors 
into thinking the stock is more popular than it really is, influencing them to buy and inadvertently driving the price up. These methods are not just unfair, they're illegal. They create a distorted picture of the market, misleading investors and causing significant financial harm. Yet, despite the risks and the penalties, some players continue to engage in these deceptive practices. And here's the kicker. These manipulative tactics can be hard to spot. They're often hidden behind complex trading strategies, making them difficult to detect and even harder to prove. So, now that we know their tricks, we're left with one crucial question. Uh, now that we know how they do it, what can we, as investors, do to protect ourselves? As investors, it's crucial we arm ourselves with knowledge and strategies to combat these manipulations. The world of investing can be a battlefield, and like any good soldier, we need to equip ourselves with the right tools. So let's dive into what you can do to protect your investments. First and foremost, research is key. You wouldn't buy a car without checking its history and performance, would you? The same principle applies to investing. Understand the company you're investing in, its financial health, the industry it operates in, and its prospects. This will provide you with a solid foundation to make informed decisions. Secondly, knowing the risks associated with short selling and short squeezes is paramount. Short selling, although legal, carries significant risks and is not suitable for everyone. A short squeeze, on the other hand, can lead to drastic price increases that can seriously hurt short sellers. It's crucial to understand these risks before deciding to short a stock, or even when investing in a company that is a target of short sellers. Next, consider diversifying your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification can help mitigate potential losses from any single investment. Remember, the goal is not to win big on a single investment but to build wealth over time through steady gains. Finally, keep an eye out for signs of market manipulation. Unusual trading volume, drastic price changes without any news, and other anomalies could be indications of market manipulation. If something seems fishy, it probably is. Also, consider seeking advice from a financial advisor. These professionals can provide valuable insights and advice tailored to your financial goals and risk tolerance. But remember, even with professional advice, the final decision is always yours. And last but not least, remember to stay patient. Investing is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about building wealth over the long term. Being informed and vigilant can help investors avoid falling victim to these manipulative practices. Price manipulation, as we've seen, is a complex issue with many players and moving parts. We've delved into the shady world of hedge funds and market makers, exposed illicit practices like naked short selling and wash trading and discuss the detrimental effects these actions can have on a company's stock price using AMC as our case study. Let's recap. Hedge funds through short selling have been betting on AMC's stock prices falling. To limit their losses during short squeezes, some have resorted to illegal methods to manipulate the stock price. Market makers tasked with providing liquidity have at times abused their position to push down AMC's stock price. Naked short selling, the illegal practice of short selling stocks without actually owning them, and wash trading, the simultaneous buying and selling of stocks to artificially influence price, are two methods 
that have been employed, it's crucial to remember that this is not an exhaustive list of manipulative practices. The world of finance is dynamic and so are the methods used to manipulate it. The situation surrounding AMC is ongoing and things may change as new information comes to light. For those wanting to delve deeper into the subject, I recommend checking out the Wikipedia article on short squeezes and the SEC's article on short selling. These resources provide detailed explanations and are a good starting point for anyone wanting to understand the mechanics behind stock price manipulation. In the face of all this, it's more important than ever to stay informed and vigilant. Conduct your own research before investing. Understand the risks associated with short selling and short squeezes. And remember that investing is not just about making a quick buck. It's about making informed decisions based on sound knowledge and understanding. Remember, investing is not a gamble, but a strategic decision. So stay informed, stay vigilant and happy investing. That's a wrap on today's deep dive into the murky waters of price manipulation. We've charted the course, identified the culprits and laid bare their tactics. But remember, every investor's journey is unique and the seas of the stock market are ever changing. So equip yourself with knowledge and always navigate with a clear mind. Your thoughts and queries enrich this discussion, so don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going. And if you find these topics engaging, why not share this video with your fellow investors? Just a friendly reminder though, the information shared here isn't investment advice. It's crucial you conduct your own research before making any investment decision. After all, it's your hard-earned money on the line. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on the world of investment. Until next time, stay savvy investors.